So around the St. Patrick's Day time of year, it's time to make some new Reuben sandwiches. Start off with some good Thousand Island dressing. We're going to need some sauerkraut, good brand of that. Find yourself a good brand of rye bread. I love this locally made. Get some good quality Swiss cheese. And then you're going to need some corned beef. And I'm doing this recipe very, very simple. What I do is I just put my heat my corned beef up in the microwave and what I do is depending on the size of bread that I'm going to be using that day, I rip it up in proper slices and then kind of get it off the plate up in the air 3D version so when I put it into the microwave it'll heat up nicely. And I'm going to generally I'm going to hit that uh, corned beef for about 30 seconds in the microwave and then I'm going to put cheese onto it 30 seconds and then I'm going to flop it around a little bit and put another one on there. So while the first go around of corned beef is being heated up, let's cook the bread. Um, it's gonna go about 400 degrees for 30 minutes, or three minutes, and be sure to use those screens to lay that on top of the bread. That keeps the bread from blowing away. Otherwise, there's a tornado inside that oven, and that bread will move around and fly up into it. So with our corned beef nicely heated up, it has given off a little bit of liquid, so I tamp it down with a paper towel, just uh, not too runny at this point, but it does need a little bit of drying off. And at this point, I'm gonna take and lay the corned beef out and start putting the cheese in between the slices. Corned beef, slice of cheese, corned beef, slice of cheese. No real rocket scientist business here. And so let's get it all going the more cheese the better and I say that you know the bottom line is quality ingredients good ingredients in good ingredients out we're gonna hit that for another 30 seconds in the microwave sorry for the camera movement but where I've got my counter mounted up there is in the way of the microwave so and I'm gonna scoop out just a little bit of sauerkraut which is very wet and I'll do that onto a paper towel and just tamp it off a little bit. I don't want it completely dried out, but I don't want it running all over the place. It just makes for a messy sandwich. Set that aside for a minute. We're gonna pull the corned beef and cheese out, maybe flip it, flop it around a little bit, just to, you know, our microwaves don't ever heat up the same in different spots. So put that back, maybe put it onto a paper towel to take care of any moisture runoff. We're gonna hit that for another 30 seconds. And at this point, the bread ought to be just about ready to come out of the oven. So let's get that set up. Don't pick the screen up with your hands. It is 400 degrees. But those screens are really handy. If you're going to use a mini oven, I really recommend the screens. And also a, a nine inch rack to get the uh, whatever you're ever cooking up off the bottom of the uh, oven bottom. So at this point, the corned beef is ready to go after a total of a minute and a half being cooked with a minute of it with cheese. Put that onto the bread. Then we're gonna pull the, pull the roast beef apart there a little bit just so we can take the sauerkraut and we're gonna wanna flop the sauerkraut right into the middle. One, two, three, flop. <laughs> okay, and then a little bit of uh, a little bit of Thousand Island dressing, not too much, not too little. Um, on one of my sandwiches, it really came dumping out of there pretty darn fast. Uh, so let's take that. I think it's just good form to cut it in half because it's a pretty messy sandwich. And for presentation, um, you could put as much as you want to on there. I think that's about a proper thickness for my taste on a good sandwich. Sometimes I make them a little bit thicker. It just depends on what I'm in the mood for. And you got to have some potato chips with it. And that's all there is to it.